Hi. A Horizon friend uh, asked me when I was going to do a tutorial on snapping. And I thought, oh, well, I could do that. It's actually one of my very favorite tools of the Creator tool set. And uh, so here it is. Here's just sort of a quick tutorial on how I'm using snapping. I'm sure there's lots of other ways that are being used, but these are the ways that are most helpful to me. I also want to do a shout out to the Horizon Creator community for these incredibly cool reproductions of the various editing tools. They're really neat, especially as backdrops for these tutorials. So, okay, let me just jump into create mode and uh, move over here a little bit. And if you look at your uh, left-hand controller, right here is the snapping tool, and that's uh, what I'll be showing you today. So opening up my shapes, just pull that over here. And if I grab a shape, um, I think one of the best parts about creating in Horizon is it's a lot like doing a magic trick or uh, creating balloon animals at a party. Um, everything is happening in front of you and everything moves around um, and you can replicate objects and then you can stack them. And until fairly recently, if you were stacking, you really had to kind of eyeball where that was going to live uh, on top of it. Now, you could conceivably take a shape and then replicate it along the axis, but then you have this problem of how do I place it here and have it, you know, touch properly. And to illustrate that, I'm going to take and just uh, color one of these. And you can see right now that there's this weird thing happening where these two meet. And I can do my best to try to uh, to get them to sit on each other. And so what this is doing, and you'll probably see this all over Horizon, is that this is called Z-buffering. And what's happening is that the white surface and the blue surface are in the exact same space in 3D, and they're fighting to decide which one is going to be viewed over another. So one marvelous way to have that not happen or to reduce that is to go into the snapping mode by turning that on. And when you highlight an object and move it around, now see when you move it around, there's this sort of cloud of right angled little points along the way. And so by taking your object and placing it onto uh, the grid and then taking this object, then you can bring it over and you can lay it on top. But the best part of the snapping tool is these little dots here that are in the corner, the centers and the, and the middle. You can grab them and then touch them to the dots on the points on the other objects. And now they're perfectly aligned. They're sitting right on top of each other and there's no more Z buffering. Um, the same is true of objects that aren't the same. So if I take this, this cylinder, and let's say that I want the cylinder to sit on top of here, and I have it a weird shape, a uh, weird size that's not the same as the, the cube, I can put the snap tool on, and I can grab the bot bottom most dot, and I can drop it down to touch, oops, let's do that again, grab it and touch the one that's on the top of the cube here, and it is sitting exactly on the top of it. The other thing that I can do too is I can also scale to those dots. So if I go over here and I grab the scaling and I pull on it, and if I touch one of those dots, it's going to scale exactly to that edge. So let me do it on this corner. I'll do it on, whoops, grab the scale thing. And I grab it over here. Now I have a cylinder that is a perfect cylinder that is meeting those edges, no Z buffering. It's the same diameter square as the, the cube below it. So that's really the majority of the tools. So if I grab and I scale, I could scale freeform or with this on, I could scale to these dots and then make sure that as I'm scaling, I'm staying aligned. So that alignment is key, especially for getting rid of that Z buffering effect. So uh, let's start by creating something new just to show you how I use it in the process. So I'm just going to grab a cube here. And uh, I, when I start anything new, I start on that 
grid system because I know it's going to make it easier for construction. Once the thing is finished, I can move it around and place it anywhere. But as long as I'm starting here on the grid, I can be sure that anything is easy to line up with it. So let me just start by making a base here. Another thing I try to do is I like to not be going back and forth and pulling objects from the menu, as easy as it is. Um, I try to use what I've already got. So let's say I just grab, whoops, would help if I put duplicate on. I grab and I'll just duplicate one here. And whoops, now I have to turn off duplicate. So as much as all of this is like muscle memory, I still am finding myself forgetting to turn duplicate duplicate on and off. So let me see. Let me just adjust here. And um, I have the, the sort of space grid off, but because it's all aligned, it's all aligning to that original object that I placed there. So let's see. Let me grab one of these. I'll turn the snap back on. I'll put it there. I want to scale this to the back. Then I can turn it off. And now I can scale and play with it a little bit more organically. I can do the same thing by selecting and then turning the snap back on, putting duplicate on. And I can grab this dot and I can turn it around and place it here on the grid. So. So as you can see, that makes it really quick. So I'm going to duplicate another one of these. Put it back here. Whoops. Put it now. Let me just put it up here. I'm going to. Take it like that. Maybe grab another one of these guys. Do it on snapping. Whoops. Grab that again. I'm going to scale to that dot. Now I'm going to scale to that. So grab this again. Oops. Well, maybe I'll grab this piece. The fact that I am pulling from my own sort of reservoir of shapes uh, that I already have in here makes that really quite quick. Except for this guy. I keep getting these guys separately. Actually. So I'm jumping back and forth, turning the scaling on and off. Let's see, I want this to be a little, whoops, shallower. Missed the dot. That still looks weird. Let me just grab both of these. This is where you get to watch me fuss. Okay, grab, turn on snap, duplicate, grab this guy over here. Okay. So another rule that I sort of live by is I, and this probably comes from doing video games in the, in the 90s, but I try to stay as low poly as at all possible. Um, so I don't immediately reach for smoothed objects. Uh, in this case, um, I really need a cushion for this chair, and so I am going to splurge and use this softer version of a cube for the cushions. Um, because I've been willing to go so sort of rectilinear with everything else, it means that I can kind of uh, spend a little extra on the cushions. See, there's some z-buffering happening there. That's not any good. Let's get rid of that. 
Whoops, grabbed the wrong thing. That is looking pretty wide in the hips, so I'm going to grab everything, squish it a little bit. In fact, I think I'm going to bring these in. Get rid of that messiness. There we go. Actually, it feels like this all needs to squish too. Okay, bear with me while I am fussy. Okay, one last touch, I'll do these legs. Let's look at that little tall. And this make the front legs a little prettier. So let's grab one of those and one of these. Get them nice and like the linear. Um, so the other thing you can do when you have it chosen to snap is you can rotate on a snap, which is really handy too. Oh, and I'm also going to be duplicating, so... Oops, actually, you know what? That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the other direction. Okay, let's turn try this. Okay. Come on. Why are you not moving? I know why. I had that. Oh, that's weird. Oh, you know what? I am not perfectly aligned here. Let's try that again. That better? It's not better. Okay, let's watch me do my work over again. Okay, one more time. There we go, much better. Just one last piece. Okay. I will group them. Come on. You're still pretty big. Oh, it's way big. Shrink you down.
And let's rotate you. Oops. Do the same over here. Oh, now they're tiny. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now they're the same height. Okay. It's not the most perfect chair in the world. Uh, Okay, and select everything, make it a group. And now that everything has been constructed, I can just do anything I want with it. I can move it anywhere and not have to worry about it. But if I need to, I can always just turn back the grid and then I have something that I can then place on a surface relatively quickly and easily and safely. So there you go. So that is uh, building with snapping. Um, like I said, it's, it's fairly easy. Uh, more than anything, it's kind of getting used to the sort of muscle memory of which buttons are pressed. I still get messed up when it comes to duplicate. I'm always duplicating something I hadn't intended on, but, uh, hopefully this will be helpful and, uh, you'll be snapping, uh, your models together, uh, with glee in the future. Thanks a lot.